Here we go. Time up a loose end from the last build. I've already sent a remote assistance invitation so that we see if computers of the same vintage can participate in this. Here we go. Now you probably heard that, that's not played on this computer, that's in fact played on the computer that sent the help request when this dialog shows up. And it says to understand the help session now. And if you if you were in peril with your computer, you'd most likely click yes. And then you get this dialog, and for some reason any maximized windows would become unmaximized. As you can see bits of the desktop background peeking through in the top right here. So you get this dialog and then you can now start chatting with the person on the other hand. And you go, hey helper. And then on the helping computer, you get a similar dialog here, except you don't because this is actually the view of the other computer. I got confused by this at first. I thought this was actually up here and I started try clicking in it and typing in it and going, hmm, why is it not working? But obviously it's down here on the sending computer. And it appears on there because this is now viewing the other computer, as you can obviously tell. And yeah, it's just using the like remote desktop connection, the same thing that technology that, that uses. This is using that. And at some point, you'd probably get sick of the person on the other end not following your instructions, and you just click on take control. And then the other computer gets this dialog showing on it. And it says your helper wants to take control. Are you sure you want to give him control? and then after verifying he's not a bad man you would probably go yes he seems quite nice he'll help me and then when that happens you can now control the other computer obviously you can pretty much do whatever you want that the other user could do so if you wanted to you could delete system files and stuff like that I'm sure somebody at one point in the lifetime of XP and the lifetime of this feature has done that so I've gone yeah I'll help you then gone on and messed up the computer even more so yeah that's what we can do and then at some point you probably go right that's all fixed then and the person on the other end would go right that's all fixed then and then they'd go bye and then quit and it doesn't close straight away but on the other end it says Bob has quit and is no longer connected to your computer so you quit and you go yep that's a job well done and for some reason it leaves up the help thing afterwards, I don't know why it does that, instead of just closing the window completely. Like this, I mean, you don't need it, so... Not sure why that's there. This doesn't mean maximize, so that's left in its unmaximized state. So yeah, it does work. And it's a pretty nifty feature, obviously.